Hi, today I am going to make these very pretty rakhis and lumbas. Perfect for Raksha Bandha. Materials required are, this is a golden uh, gota or thread, whatever kind you want to use, you can use a ribbon also. This is a lace of beads, so I'll use that. These are some studs. Uh, these are smaller studs, these are a couple of parrots and these are slightly bigger studs. And these are paper strips for quilling with a tool. So first I'll just quill the strip. You can take any color that you like. comes like this just apply some glue and stick it and then just press it on one side so you get a, a teardrop shape like this so this is how they look I made three different colors of uh, these teardrops now take a take this uh, gota and take a long length for the rakhi so this is almost like 10 12 inches now take another sorry uh, take a piece of the the lace the pearl lace so I'm just going to count six and six this way and cut it out so you get a square like this take some plain paper also Cut out a small square like this. Now on this just apply glue in the center. And stick this square, the pearl square on it. And just turn it around take this paper apply glue on this also and stick it on this you got to be a little careful because this keeps shifting will just hold this in place uh, I'll just leave it to dry now take the parrot or any animal figure that you've chosen apply glue on one side and just stick it on top of this then take one or just apply glue on the eye because And then stick this stud on it. Now, now as I have done here, so same way, just apply first glue on this gota. 
take one piece quilt piece and stick it on it at an angle like this you can apply glue next to it and stick the other one like so so I'll go on sticking these in the same way so again apply glue and stick a yellow one like this now just apply glue on the joint of the pieces and take this bigger stud and just stick it on this like so so I'll just stick on the other two for the lumbar I have cut out two squares of the lace of the pearl lace same in size and I've cut a long piece of the uh, gota thread and also a small square of the white paper so what I'm going to do is first just fold the gota in half like this and apply glue on the paper first For the lumbar, I have cut a long piece of the gota thread, a small square of paper and these are uh, two squares of the pearl lace, same in size. So now just first apply glue on the gota, oh, sorry on the paper. Take the string, the gota string, fold it in half like this. Take the halfway point, first just stick that on the paper, try to stick it together, you know on top of each other, like this, and apply some more glue and stick this pearl on it. So the lace has to be diagonal to the gota string. Like this. Now apply glue on the reverse, on the paper as well as these pearls. Since the lumba can be seen from both sides, so that is why you need to do this and you stick this other square on it. Like this. Now on this side, take the parrot and as we did for the rakhi, same way, apply glue on it. And this is going to hang this way, so we'll, I'll stick the parrot like this. I need to leave it for a little while. Before that, I'll just stick the eye also.
like this. So I will just leave it to dry. After this is stuck, now just apply glue on the cord so that they stick to each other a little bit. And now I'm going to stick these uh, quilt pieces on it in the same way as I did for the rakhi. So just apply first a dot of glue and take this orange piece. And so on. So this is how it will look. A very pretty little lumba. Materials required are a golden colored cord. This is a strip of beads that uh, you get. It comes like a lace. So uh, this. Then these are uh, ready made you know, flowers or you can use anything that you have at home. Decoration pieces. These are a few like these are bells. Gungru as we call them. These are golden colored beads. And these are some green colored leaf shape, teardrop shape uh, studs. A needle and thread and some plain paper. Now I am going to cut a three strand uh, lace from this. So like this and another one so I have two of these now take the cord cut out a little piece from it Take this bead lace and first just put it through like this and tie a knot. Now put these strands together and I'll take a golden bead, just push it through. Comes out like this. And then just tie a knot again. So this is one side. I'll do with the other um, strap also. Cut a long piece from the yellow cord again. This time slightly longer than the previous one. Put it through the lace. Bring it halfway and then tie a knot. the ends together, insert a bead and tie a knot again. Like this. So I've already done with this also, the same way. Now take the flower, turn it over, and uh, put some glue at the back. Now 
I'll stick this shorter threads on it. So, so just see how long you want. We want the bead to be just outside the flower. And I'll cut off the rest of the Similarly for this one and make sure it's uh, the um, inside. So again apply glue on top of these. Take some paper, plain paper, and then just stick it. So, this will ensure that the threads don't come out. like this so now just apply glue on the center bead on both sides and stick these studs on it like this And this is how the rakhi would look. For the lumba, I have again cut a strip of the pearls. Now take these two flowers, apply glue on them. First take one slightly on the lower side and stick the other one on it like this so I'll just let it dry take a needle and thread just first Put it through the flower Try to take a matching color So I have taken a yellow color thread Don't pull the whole thing You will have a loop So just now put these bells I will use two And then just take it through the loop so you have bells like this I'll just tie a knot in the flower so this is how it will look I have just put a dot of glue so on the thread so that it doesn't come off because of the weight of the bells now I have cut another piece from the yellow cord and in the same way as I did for the rakhi I'm going to just insert it through and take a long thread because this is a lumba so and then in the same way I'm going to attach this bead so this is how it looks and we will tie a knot at the other end also so that it doesn't unravel 
and I'll just put a glue on the bead just above the flower and stick this stud on it. So this is what it looked like. And this is how both the Rakhi and Lumbas would look.